Right, all right, all right. We're back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. As usual, I'm your host, Mark Pierce. How are you doing today? It's going to be a great one. Not as humid as yesterday, and it is gorgeous. I've been outside already. Going to like this weather today. Hope you're all doing well. Today is Tuesday, July 21st. We had a lot of choices for today. Tons of choices. Too many, actually. I spent a long time trying to figure out what I was going to do today. Uh, so we'll get to that. But what happened today in music history? We'll run that down first. 1956. Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers are top of the charts in the UK with their version of Why Do Fools Fall in Love. Love that 50s music. 1979. The number one single in the land was... Well, actually, it wasn't number one. The released song today was Bad Case of Loving You, Robert Palmer, Doctor, Doctor, Give Me the News. Everyone loves that jam. I remember that when I was a kid. Uh, what do we got? We got the, uh, anniversary of, uh, 1990. This is Roger Waters' live Berlin Wall, the Wall concert, featuring, the money went to disaster relief, fe featuring Sinead O'Connor, Brian Adams, the band, the Scorpions, Phil Collins, Van Morrison, uh, Joni Mitchell, 200,000 fans see this show. I was not a fan when it came out. I didn't care. I didn't want to listen to it. I didn't want to hear other people singing my favorite album. Uh, I just never really clung on to that. Uh, to this day, I've never watched the whole thing from beginning to end. I've seen some of the performances. It's all right. It's interesting, but it's not my thing. Birthdays today. Uh, only one birthday. Cat Stevens is 72 years old today. He could have been one of my song of the days today. I was thinking about that, but I didn't. Sorry, Cat. Uh, and so today what we're doing, we'll mention something else so, from today's anniversary, but that comes up later in the story. Uh, today we're going to do something from actually yesterday. I was listening to satellite radio. Any of you guys have satellite radio out there? I love it. It's changed my life, turned me on to so much different music. Don't have to listen to those commercials that are on every, every five minutes. Uh, and I got satellite radio in 2005. I've been listening to it ever since. Uh, I did have an option in 2005 that rather than pay a monthly fee, you could have bought a lifetime license for $500. That was one of the offers. And I was really thinking about it. And at that time, $500 was a lot of money. Still a lot of money, but it was just a whole lot of money. Uh, and so ultimately I was like, well, this company could fold. Who's going to, I mean, how are they going to get this stuff in cars? It's not going to be able to, uh, how's this going to work? So I passed. Clearly, that was a bad mistake. I should have done 500 lifetime. Anyone do $500 lifetime satellite radio? Let me know. <clears throat> if you did, I'll send you a sticker. Uh, so what are we doing? Well, yesterday was two things. It was the three-year anniversary of Chester Bennington's death from Lincoln Park. I, was, I could have done that for song of the day. I, I'm not today, but I have them on the pike down a little bit later, but that's a sad day. Also, today, uh, yesterday would have been Chris Cornell's 56th birthday. And so that's what we're going with today. Chris Cornell, I mean, amazing voice, right? He was <clears throat> nominated for the best rock voice in history. He's at the top of people's list. He's number one on someone's list. He had a near four octave range. Incredible, incredible voice. Born in Seattle, um, founder of Soundgarden member of Temple of the Dog, the tribute band to uh, Andrew Wood, who was in uh, Mother Love Bone. If you don't know Mother Love Bone and you don't know the song Chloe, Cloud, Crown of Thorns, you got to listen to that, but we'll do that on a different episode. Uh, and then, of course, his work with Audio Slave and his solo work. Uh, Soundgarden, formed in 1984, put out two EPs. Remember EPs? We talked about those yesterday. Put out two EPs for Sub Pop Records. Uh, in 87 and 88. Uh, Sub Pop, the king of grunge music, original signers of Nirvana, Mud Honey, all kinds of bands. You name it, Sub Pop was it uh, in the early grunge. That got them, they, got, they already got courted by a bunch of labels. Um, they decided to go with independent SST Records and sign with them in 88 and put out Ultra Mega OK, which did get them a Grammy nomination. 30 million records sold. Chris Cornell, 16 Grammy nominations. Crazy, right? That gets them signed to the big label, A&M Records. In 89, they put out Louder Than Love. 
they change up some members they lose some guys they gain some guys they got someone from from nirvana there was all that, that kind of stuff going on and then in 1991 they put out the seminal bad motor finger which just put them over the top i remember listening to that record the same time i got nirvana's uh nirvana's album and uh, i just liked soundgarden better i just liked that album better great albums got outshined rusty cage jesus christ pose I mean, that's just, that was right at the beginning of grunge, and it was just so good. Um, and I saw them play, I saw them open up, or play with Guns N' Roses in Foxborough. We talked about that. Can't find the, uh, still can't find the write-up about that show. Everything says Metallica was there. I don't remember Metallica being there. So, if you're out there and you saw Guns N' Roses and Soundgarden in the, like, around 1990 or so, let me know. I need to hear. Did I see Metallica? I don't think I did. <clears throat> and then in 94, they put out Super Unknown. They ride that wave and they get Spoon Man and Black Hole Sun, which both won Grammy Awards. Whew, that's a lot, right? Uh, but when we were talking about satellite radio, I was, I was listening to them talk about uh, Soundgarden the other day. But there are two DJs on satellite that I love. The Swedish Eagle, and by the way, Eagle is not the bird, it's E-G-I-L, he's truly Scandinavian, Swedish Eagle, love that guy's voice, uh, he got, he was made famous from K-Rock, and Earl Bailey, Earl Bailey's on deep tracks, and he's just so mellow, he's just, and he's got this deep, deep voice, and he has, he just comes out with these things, he says these things that just, it's just so awesome, the other day he said, oh, we're, we're serving up some, some hot tuna with some tasty tunage, and I was like, Tasty Tunage, that's awesome, I love that. Uh, anyway, love that guy. Those guys came like out of K-Rock. I read, last summer I read Richard Blade's autobiography, Love First Wave. I read his autobiography, and you're looking, you're reading it, and it's a who's who of satellite radio DJs, first of all. And he knew everybody. He's, he is actually friends with all the people he says he's friends with. It's an amazing story. I digress. So, song of the day. Let's get to that. Uh, Soundgarden. I had a lot to choose from. And then when, when I think of Soundgarden, I was going to go originally with something from Bad Motorfinger, and I was going to do Outshined. But then I think about the song that I really like the most when I hear it from them, and it absolutely is Spoon Man. I love that song. It's a great song. That's what we're going to play today. You're going to turn that up. Just remember what you were doing when you were listening to Grunge, because that's a great song. On a side note, when I woke up this morning... It was fate, because it's also the anniversary of Appetite for Destruction in 1987. This album gets released, and that'll get addressed later uh, on Song of the Day. But uh, it is the anniversary of Appetite for Destruction, and the family of Chris Cornell released 11 hours ago, 12 hours ago, his version of Patience, which I'll post underneath as well. So you can check out his voice and guitar on that one. So, Spoon Man. That's your actual song of the day. Enjoy it today on Tuesday. Enjoy this day. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Don't forget Wednesdays. We serve something up that's a little different, something maybe you never heard before. You know, check me out then. We'll, we'll do something good. So have a great day. And as usual, we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>